Hello everyone and welcome back to Everyday Husband Quotes, the channel for marriage advice, marriage entertainment, and everything else, marriage. Hey, hey guys and welcome, welcome back to the channel. Malaysia Pargo did this interview with Carlos King and she talked about after being divorced from her ex-husband going on 10 to 11 years now that he is still not paying child support and she reveals that her ex-husband despised her being on basketball wives in other words he hated her while she was on the show malaysia says that her ex-husband's actions spoke very loud when it came to her discerning that her ex-husband despised her being on the show basketball wives some examples she gave was there was a lack of support from him and that he genuinely did not support her as a leading lady on the show while they were married. He also tried to ignore the fact that Basketball Wives was not part of their lives at the time. And she tells Carlos King in the interview that her ex-husband did a pretty good job of ignoring that she was becoming the face of Basketball Wives. Even mentioning that while they were on the golf course one day, a female fan called her ex-husband over just to say, I love your wife on that show, Basketball Wives. Malaysia recalls her ex-husband being so upset at the female fan. And so, honey, if he ignored her being on a popular reality show shown to millions of people every week, I wonder how many times he ignored her as a wife, a mom, and a boss while they were married. So we know that Malaysia's ex-husband is named Gennaro Pargo. They were married for eight years. They have three children together. And Malaysia was the one to file for a divorce, which at the time it was due to irreconcilable differences. Gennaro was a husband who was financially capable of taking care of his wife and his kids because he was on the salary of an NBA basketball player at the time. And it is disheartening to know that his children have been left out here to defend for themselves for the last 10 to 11 years, only because him and his ex-wife are not together. And honey, as I'm trying to make sense of all of this that is going on, how can a man who once took care of his family for eight years while they were married, but then stop once they get a divorce? So I was wondering, was he big mad because Malaysia divorced him? In other words, was his ego playing a part in why he wouldn't take care of his kids after the divorce? It's almost like he wants her to suffer because she wouldn't accept his wrongdoing and because she was now starting to make a name for herself. Malaysia does admit that she did try to make it work. She says that I remember crying in the shower and calling my pastor to see what can I do. She even gave Gennaro a year before she filed for a divorce to get himself together by going to counseling. But of course he did. And so I don't know their whole story, but outside looking in, honey, a man like her ex-husband seems like he was living a double life. And Malaysia even said in the interview with Carlos King that people were like, you knew what you were getting when you married him. And she was like, absolutely not. I thought I was marrying someone that was like a cousin of mine, someone who was a man who had an occupation and a man who was very good to his wife. A strong man and I wanted that lifestyle, she says. So honey, before I wrap up this video, so many times we try to protect the other parent by not telling our kids everything that's going on. And I mean, I get it. But Malaysia said that now she's in a season where she is being honest with her kids and letting them know what's going on. And I'm sure her kids are much older now, so I'm sure that they have questions. But you know, a lot of the times, if the other parent doesn't show up, the kids do read between the lines now that her kids are older and with social media being such a big influence into what's out there probably about her dad i'm glad that she's taking that time to explain what is going on and to allow her kids to know that no one deserves to be treated like they have been treated for the last 10 to 11 years honey i don't know why we like that with our kids but we are so my question is if you were in malaysia's shoes how would you handle this situation so those are my thoughts leave yours in the comment section of this video as always thank you guys for watching i really appreciate it and i will talk to you guys in the next video